Uh, this is the Rangers record right now. Anthony, it was a big game last night. It was the Rangers versus the Hurricanes. If they if the Rangers won, they were tied for first place. Yeah. And they lost four to two. Uh, it's uh, there's a four point lead now with uh, nine games remaining. Looks like Carolina is going to win the division. Chris Kreider scored his 50th goal of the season. He's the fourth New York Ranger to do so. But oh, and that's also by the way the Chiron that I should have put up when I was talking about that. Well, I'm a little bit rusty, guys. <laughs> Anthony, what are your thoughts on the Rangers post trade deadline? Um. I mean, I, I think they addressed a lot of the needs. I know Tyler Mott is out now with an injury, um, but I like what he would have brought to the team going into the playoffs. You know, he's, he's a good penalty killer. Um, he has the propensity to score shorthanded goals. He's got speed, um, you know, and he's just your prototypical bottom six player. Um, not big in stature, but, you know, he plays a big game. Um, and then obviously the addition of Andrew Kopp helps solidify him. Um, again, gave him a little grittier, a little bit more scoring because Kopp can ship in that way. Um, so I thought Chris Drury did a great job. Um, you know, I think, I think they could have shot a little higher than Braun with the defenseman, especially being that, you know, he was scratched a couple of games. Uh, I'm not his biggest fan, but overall, you know, I, I thought Drury did a really good job in trying to add to the Rangers and give him the best shot possible to give him go on a deep run here. But, um, yeah, I, I, uh, I like the moves they made. I gotta say, I, I think he hit a grand slam not even a home run. It was a grand slam. Yeah. Getting Tyler Mott is going to be tremendous. Now he's out for the next three weeks. Um, I'm not sure if they released the official timetable. Mm. You know the way the NHL is. They're yeah. they're about as secretive as North Korea or Lou Lamarillo even in trying <laughs> to give out injury news. Yeah. But um, so you get him when he comes back, that fourth line is going to be tremendous. I just still look at this team. This is my personal opinion. I think if Cop slides down to the third unit, then you're talking about something really special, but he's on that second unit and that second unit has been great. So let's, let's, uh, let's see how that works out. Frank Vedrano has been perfect. Yeah. For that I, line. Just, I, I forgot about him. You know, um, he's been, he's been really good. Uh, and you know, he's, he's a bottom six player for sure, but he, he can in a pinch, I think play in a top six, not for an extended period of time. Um, but he, he is able to do so, and, you know, he's he's chipped in. So, um, you know, the, the Rangers, I thought, even from the beginning of the year, they needed those grittier players who who could really play in the bottom six but also maybe move up in a pinch. Um, I thought, you know, compared to other teams in the past, their bottom six was surely lacking, and, and Drury did a really great job. So, um, But, no, vetrano has been great. He's been absolutely great for them. And for the cost, I mean – how could you not love that deal? Yeah, I mean, yeah. The only thing I just I, I forgot to look up before I, I got started on this is if they have him on a contract for another season, I think he's a UFA. Yeah. But he'll he's he's not gonna command huge dollars. No, so don't worry no. about that. No. Nope. Um, I still think you gotta figure out what you're doing with uh Lafreniere and Kako, but moving Lafreniere back to the left wing has been a tremendous addition as well. Yeah. So please like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great hockey content and an entertaining interactive podcast. So check us out and our library of videos. Getting to the last night's game, though. The Rangers nearly went up 2-0. They end up going up uh, 2-1. Both Russian goaltenders uh, kind of had a soft goal last night, the one that Sveshnikov banked off of uh, Sesterkin. I think it's because he got, he got bumped right there. For Toronto hit in the post. Uh, certainly that would have given the Rangers a 2 mm -hmm. nothing lead at the time. But uh, the, what, do you, what do you really take away from that game last night? Uh, I mean, it's, it's hard to, to take away just from one game. But for, I will say just in general, I think when the – well, I should say actually with the exception of Gorgiev playing the Hurricanes, Shesterkin has struggled a little bit against Carolina. Um, and listen, sometimes for whatever reason, there's just certain teams that goalies – either don't play well or, you know, they own. Like, for instance, Varlamov, when he plays the Rangers, the guy turns into, like, Superman. Um, mm -hmm. Those are just situations that, that happen across the league. Some matchups aren't good for certain goalies and teams. But um, overall, I mean, I don't like the matchup the Hurricanes bring in general for, for the Rangers, or really any team. The Hurricanes play that weird style that they, they throw the puck at the net from anywhere. They're not afraid to just throw the puck on net. 
They come at you at waves. They they suffocate the puck carrier. Um, they and they play a speed game. They're they're a hard team to play against. Um, so it's not just the Rangers. I I, I think Carolina is a nightmare for a lot of teams. Uh, but more specifically, yes, I think the Rangers aren't a good matchup for them. Um, really, for my money, the only the only team. Well, actually, no, that is the only team in the Metro. I I put clearly ahead of the Rangers, the Hurricanes. I think that they could beat the Penguins in a seven game series. Uh, I think they could beat the Capitals in a seven game series. And luckily for them, it, it's going to be impossible for the Rangers to meet the Hurricanes in the first round. So that's so that's the good news. Um, the bad news is. You know, they might have to go through them at some point if the Rangers get out of the first round. But um, overall, yeah, I, I don't like the matchup that they present for the Rangers. But um, again, though, the Rangers don't have to worry about it for at least round one. So that's that's the saving grace there. The way that I would categorize it would be if this, if this was a, a fight, like uh, I don't know if you want to use UFC or boxing hour. We'll just use the term fight card. The, the first round, the Rangers bludgeoned them but didn't get a goal out of it. Then uh, in the second round, they got a goal, and then somehow Carolina came back even because the shots and the Mm -hmm. Carolina just wasn't threatening. They get one good break on Jacob Truba kind of pinching up on, I think it was Sebastian Ajo, then got it to Seth Jarvis, goes in, backhander, and that's Mm -hmm. it. But then uh, broken play, and Jordan Stahl just gets it in the back of the net. But that's about it. Uh, that's yeah. that's I mean, uh, it, it, that's gonna yeah. be a seven game series, it's gonna be a great seven game series, and uh, I can't wait for that. That's that's what's gonna look like it's going to be inevitable. Just gonna address once again Chris Kreider scoring his 50th goal of the of of of, of the year. And um, I had a great joke I was gonna post for this, but I had a hockey game at the time, so. <laughs> And, and then they lost, so I couldn't do that. But I did go kind of from 6 to midnight realizing <laughs> that Chris Kreider has, yeah. has accomplished what every Ranger fan has ever thought he could ever do. Yeah. And um, and I, I can't be happier for the guy because his name is going to come up again in a, another discussion Anthony and I are going to have later. But this was – this was the culmination of everything that's been happening. And he still has a month to play in the season. Mm-hmm. He, he might, he might get the 55, which he might be yeah. huge. It's, it's yeah, it's realistic. It's just, he kind of sad that it came. It didn't come in a loss. I mean, sorry that it came in a loss. Yeah. That's the only thing that was bad about it. Yeah. But we've got a lot of show for you guys today. So we're just going to be firing through a lot of these topics. Uh, I already see some great comments over here. Yeah. What a great shot. Um, yeah, Hank's, Hank also struggled against the Canadians. But, guys, we're going to be going through a lot more uh, questions because we've had so much jammer in our minds for two weeks. If you haven't, subscribe to us and leave us a like. So if you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.